My name is Andrea and today I'm making Southern style potato salad. This recipe is so easy and delicious, you'll be making it all summer long. You just need a few simple ingredients. You're gonna need some potatoes, eggs, seasoning of your choice. I'm using salt and pepper, but some people like celery salt as well. You're gonna need some yellow mustard, mayo, and sweet pickle relish. And as always, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off by peeling and uh, cutting up our potatoes. And just to make things easier, um, I like to just put a plastic bag down and peel my shavings um, right on top. Okay, so I have my potatoes all peeled and gave them another rinse and now I'm just chopping them into chunks just like this. And I also started my eggs boiling as well. So um, this is one big slice and I'm just gonna cut this into quarters. And I am just going to put it in this pot right here. I already have some water in there. Okay, so I've got my potatoes in the pot and I added a generous amount of sea salt. You wanna make sure that you salt those potatoes because as you know, potatoes are pretty bland and that's where they're gonna get their seasoning from. So I'm gonna let these boil until they are fork tender, so probably about half an hour. Okay, so my eggs have just come to a boil. Now what I'm gonna do is turn off the heat, cover them, but I'm gonna let them remain on that burner. And I'm gonna let them sit there for about 15 minutes and then you'll have perfect boiled eggs. Okay, so my potatoes finished cooking and all I did was drain them in this colander. And if you're wondering what fork tender is, that means if you put the potato, if you put your fork in the potato, it should just very easily go in. And that is what you're looking for. I also um, peeled my eggs as well. So let's get started with everything else. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is mash up my potatoes a little bit, not a lot. I'm not looking for mashed potatoes. I just want the chunks to be a little bit smaller. Now this is just a personal preference. So if you prefer a chunkier potato salad, by all means, feel free to leave them just like that. Next, I'm gonna add in about a fourth of a cup of yellow mustard and a third of a cup of sweet pickle relish. Now, if you'd prefer dill, that's totally up to you. But a traditional Texas potato salad has sweet pickle relish, um, eggs, there are typically no onions and no celery. So I've added in my pickle relish. I'm adding in four of my five eggs and I just did a rough chop on those eggs. And I'm gonna start off pretty slow on the mayo because I'm not a huge mayo person. I don't really like a mayo-y potato salad. So I start off with a half a cup, stir it up, and then I'll just add more as needed. But you can always add, you can't take away. So you're just gonna stir that up. Okay, so I got everything all stirred up and I did not add any more um, mayo. So a half a cup is enough for me. If you like yours really creamy or if you wanna taste the mayo, you'd probably wanna add a cup. If you don't want to taste the mayo, a half a cup is where it's at. And by the way, I used three pounds of russet potatoes. But again, I'll put that information in the description box. I just added about a fourth of a cup of pepper and a half, not a cup, sorry, fourth of a teaspoon of pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt. Uh, these are just the seasonings that I use. This recipe is really just the bones for you. Feel free to modify seasonings as, as you see fit. And I'm just stirring this up. It's best to make this potato salad the day before. It gives the flavors a time to, time to come together. And, and that's it. So I'm gonna get this plated up and I'll show you how it turned out. Okay, so here is the potato salad. I put it in a serving bowl and I topped it with the sliced egg that I had left over. And then I just sprinkled some paprika right on top. It's not a Southern potato salad until you sprinkle that paprika. I hope you all enjoyed this quick and easy video. If you did, I have an entire playlist of quick and easy recipes that I will link in the description box. 
If you have not joined our YouTube family, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.